<laughs> now, the MGA Academy of Performing Arts in Edinburgh is celebrating 10 years of nurturing some of Scotland's best up-and-coming performers and is putting on a dazzling display to mark the occasion. The show 10 runs from tomorrow night until Saturday at the King's Theatre in Edinburgh and to tell us more about the performance, we're joined by Andrew Gowland, MGA's Managing Director and a face that you might just recognise from the likes of The X Factor, Dancing on Ice and Brookside. It's the multi-talented Ray <laughs> Quinn joining us on the show tonight. Thank wow, you very much. Wow, that is an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, sorry, but... but it's, <laughs> all right. it's all right, I can't compete with you. I, I do apologise. <laughs> Next time we'll get your full production titles in there. Um, I'm guys, quoting that one. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Um, guys, thank you for joining us tonight. First of all, uh, Ray, tell us what your role is in, in 10 and what people can expect from it. Yeah, well, I, I'm friends with these guys for a while. I've worked with them before. Uh, and they asked me to come down. So basically, I'm doing a bit of presenting. Uh, I want to be performing. Um, but really, I'm just there to support the college. I mean, it's a great college, and they've put in a load of hard work over the last 10 years. And they're putting it, all that dedication that they've put in into one brilliant show full of musical songs galore, singing, dancing, a lot. I've heard a lot of fantastic things about it when they were doing the tech today. All the crew and that are just raving about it, saying mm. it's not like any other school show they've ever seen before. That's impressive. That's quite a big talk up there as well. Yeah. Never seen like anything like it before. It's going to be quite impressive. And uh, Ray, just talking about, we obviously gave pretty much a rundown of your CV there at the top. You've had a very <laughs> varied career. But is, is being on stage kind of what you love most? That's where you started out, I suppose. Yeah, live performance really is where yeah. it, it lies for me. It's when I most come alive is when I'm on stage, when I feel most at home. The recording side and everything, that's, that's obviously the hard bit. And then obviously when you get out there and you're performing, your own songs, like I've just been writing um, and finishing up my brand new album, which is coming out very soon. I start touring in uh, September this year. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited to, to, to get that out. So the performing live side of things for me is where I'm, I'm most settled, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, now, Andrew, happy birthday. I've got to say happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. It's been an amazing uh, decade for the Academy, and lots of graduates have gone on to great things, haven't they? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, after 10 years, we've only been running our full-time courses for about five of those years. We started as a junior school and kind of grew from there. Uh, and those students have gone on. They came to us then for full-time training. We've got full-time training in acting, musical theatre and dance. So they've gone into all of those industries. We've got kids now in the West End. We've got them working all over the world on ships. Uh, you know, so everything from regional theatre to big West End shows mm. and TV now. We've just had a young lad being signed by uh, Disney who's doing some filming for Disney. So he's kind wow. of made now. He's having a great time. Yeah, yeah, we're all we're all uh, thrilled by the way. It's You're making dreams come true, aren't yeah. you? Oh, so I important. like that. Dreams yeah. come true. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, oh, there you go. Right in the course tonight. Yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, that'll be a quote. We'll get that. Dreams come true at the MGA Academy. Academy. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, a big aim of the school as well is to sort of give Scottish students a reason to stay in Scotland, and that that's quite important. Do you feel those opportunities have increased in, in Scotland, or are people still having to to sort of go out and explore other? other places. Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, I mean, I'm English, so I'm sorry about that. You know, <laughs> I can apologise now, but I've been here for seven years. We started the college uh, 10 years ago, really, to offer students in Scotland the chance to stay here, but still get a training that was good enough for them to then compete on the international stage, because that's super difficult. And traditionally, you had to kind of go down to London, you had to train there to meet the right people to get the jobs. And we've tried to tra you know, change that over the last 10 years, and I think, I think we have done. We're attracting people now yeah. to pay attention to what we're doing, pay attention to our graduates, and they're doing extremely well. Yeah. If there's work in Scotland, there certainly is a lot of work in Scotland. I think it's getting better with the regional theatres, with tours coming into Scotland, and also loads of producers now are starting to work in yeah. Scotland. So it's definitely getting great. better. It's great to have the opportunity for people yeah. to stay at home and do that. Um, so we can see Ray presenting, doing a little bit on stage as well. Where can, we, where can people get tickets that are watching tonight? How can we come along and check it out? There's loads of tickets. The King's Theatre box office, so you can contact them, go straight to their website um, and have a look. Just type in 10 on the King's Theatre Edinburgh website and you'll see us right there. Great. You can buy your tickets. Well, awesome. have a fantastic Guys, time. You. Enjoy the show. Thanks thank you for, for coming to chat.